Hello, legends, anywhere, anytime. This is Zach of SomeDoPlays.com, just some do likes to play video games. And we are here for part 213 of Fire Emblem Three Houses Blue Lions. So, the last video we did our harvest in, we did not see a support, we took care of the uh, one tournament, and um, well, the brawling tournament, we shared some meals. And we also made a dinner to increase our stats for the next battle. So, we are going to start working our way through these supports. And see how things go. And I will also start using up uh, some of the other... Pardon me. Uh, well, start using up some of the, our other activity points here. I've already used quite a bit, so first let's go and get Cyril out of the way. So he needs to speak with Hilda, Petra, and Lysithia. Cyril, how is your bow training progressing? I think maybe I've gotten better. It feels a lot easier to ready the bow lately. That is a nice thing to be hearing. You have my support with your efforts. Definitely do a good job training those arm muscles. I do? Yes, I am always cheering you on. I am long feeling a great affinity with you. Our positions are dissimilar, but our situations have great similarities. Well, Petra is a political hostage, and Cyril, Cyril was uh, captured on the battlefield and taken in and given a purpose. That is why I am always trying hard to be supporting and protecting you. You mean you've been cheering me on all along? That's nice to hear. Well, in that case, I'll support you too. You will? That gives me great joy. It makes you happy? It's gonna sound funny, but hearing you say that makes me feel happy too. You know, I just realized that there's... Well, when you talk, it's kind of powerful. It's like everything you say feels real nice and reassuring. Hmm, now this is a bit interesting. Just listening to you makes me feel better about everything. I think it's a special talent you have. Words can be said by anyone. Alone, they are without power. What is meaningful is how you are feeling. That is actually a really good point. I am hoping I can learn to use words well to convey my feelings. That is my wish. I am still learning. My words are not coming out as properly as I am wanting. Well, you're definitely better than you were in the beginning. Maybe the words aren't, but the feelings behind them are. I really do think you're special. Now that I know you're supporting me, I'm going to work real hard not to let you down. And, um, I hope someday I can get strong enough to inspire you the same way you inspire me. You have already been achieving that goal. You already have great strength. You really think so? Nah, I still got a long way to go. I'm not tough enough to match you yet, so I'm gonna get stronger. Stronger and stronger so I can support you forever. Stronger and stronger? So you can be supporting me forever? Kind of close to a confession there, Cyril. Yeah, forever and ever. Even when I am being an old woman? It will be a difficulty then. <laughs> sure. Even when you're an old woman, I'll be an old man right beside you, doing my best. Old woman Petra and old man Cyril supporting each other. I am looking forward to it. She said that correctly. <laughs> yeah, that does sound nice. Like, no, um, I've so far learned with this game, if you just focus on the main game and you don't do these supports, you miss out on a lot of the background stuff. Hi, Cyril. Starting to clean, huh? Hilda? <laughs> that tone. Personally, I'm all worn out from carrying water and fodder for the horses. I'm going to rest here a sec. Whoa. Tired? Water? Horses? Are you saying you did work all by yourself? And that really surprised Cyril because Hilda is usually so lazy. What else was I supposed to do? You weren't here to help. Okay, I get it. You did the work because you couldn't find nobody else to do it for you. 
I was waiting for you. Because look. Oh, interesting. I told you I'm always getting letters from my brother. I wrote about you in a couple of mine. You're talking about me behind my back? Honestly, you're so... We didn't say anything bad. In fact, I... Well, listen up. Here's what my brother wrote. Yeah, Cyril, you're jumping to contru uh, conclusions. And you have to remember, remember, Hilda's house's land is right on the border from uh, Almira, if I'm re remembering the place correctly, where uh, Cyril is from. Be he Almiran or no, any young man with compassion and good conduct is worthy of respect. So basically, it's showing that uh, Hilda's family, even though they've had such a history with the Almirans, they respect those that can show compassion and good conduct. Character is what really matters, not the place of one's birth. Huh, that's pretty nice. Especially since it was from a noble who battles Almirans. Right? He's a funny one, but for the first time, I really respect him. So thoughtful and tolerant. That letter makes me happy. A lot of people look down on me just because I'm all Myron. So, you know, it's nice to hear somebody accept me as just another person. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I've accepted you from the start. Pretty much everyone in the monastery has accepted Cyril. I mean, he's always in the background cleaning and helping Rhea. I mean, you're so Rhea. helpful. You do everything I ask. That's not acceptance. That's relying on somebody else to do your work. What you ought to do is be a grown-up who your brother doesn't need to worry about so much. <laughs> I'm plenty grown-up. I just brought food and water for the horses, all on my own. And she, of course, has to act like a child there. Being proud of doing what you're supposed to be doing just means you're lazy the rest of the time. Though, I gotta admit, being relied on is kinda nice. In that case, from now on, I'll rely on you even more. Let's see. First, I need you to... Hilda. Well, time to get back to work. <laughs> Good job, Cyril. Interrupt her hey, before... Hold up! He managed to escape being suckered into stuff, so now let's go and finish with Lysithia. I did it! I did it! Okay, so next up is... What's this letter all about? It doesn't appear to have a sender written anywhere. Wow, Cyril actually wrote something, finally learned how to read and write. This handwriting is so sloppy. Wow. Dear Lysithia, I read the book you gave me. This must be from Cyril! He's learning so quickly! It was hard, and it got more easy, more I tried it, and it was fun, and I learned new stuff. Frankly, Lysithia, I think she'd be a good teacher. That's the spirit. Thanks you for helping me to read and to write. He still has some grammar and spelling issues, but of course he just learned to write and read. You are so welcome. Some things are hard to say and easy to write. Correct. I know just what you mean. I want to read more and learn writing better. Yeah, so here's a case where you could change it to I would like to read more and learn to write better. <laughs> You're already doing so well with this. I can see how hard you're working. I am glad you are my friend. It makes me bappy. Oh. <laughs> Misspelled happy is bappy. Hey, Lysithia. Last night I finished reading the book you lent me. I wanted to tell you right away, but it was late, so I tried to write a letter. Um, Lysithia? You know, that's actually a good point. It really shows the difference in how he's learned, because now he can explain and he did what he could through writing a letter. Cyril, you sweet little... <laughs> did I do something wrong? 
I don't know what you're trying to say. She's giving you a compliment, buddy. Some feelings can't be verbalized or put into writing. Just look, it's just that I I'm sorry. I really don't know what you're trying to say. What I'm trying to say is I'm Bappy too. <laughs> Bappy? Let's keep studying and spending time together, okay? So what happened here is when he was writing the letter with the quill, he tried to do an H and he accidentally had some ink go too far to the left of the bottom, changing the H into a B. Oh, I get you now. That sounds great, Lysithia. <laughs> Because let's put it this way, learning to write and uh, to use a uh, fountain pen or quill does take some getting to used to because you have to be careful not to drip. And yeah, it's just one of those things. So Annette and Manuela. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. Oh, it is. This is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. Lo. Get it? Lo. And Manuela is still being a singer, singing teacher. And because I did the last week, there's no more counselor stuff. Hmm. Violet. Uh, let's see. Skills. Do, 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 do. Pardon me. Crap, Dimitri is. It's like just a. I suppose. Wait. Let's see. I need Catherine to do this. And. Oh, of course, on the bridge with Alois. I think we're still Sir Lord R. If we cross, okay. So now, like I said, supports for Alois. Yeah. So, hmm, we're getting. Actually, you know what? We'll we'll do Hanuman instead. Dorothea, my dear, you must be tired from the extended fighting. May I get you anything? Thank you, Professor Hanuman, but I'm fine. You don't appear fine. Make sure not to overexert yourself. The war is not yours alone to fight. You have friends to rely on. We are here for you, always. Yep. Thank you, but I really am fine. It's nice to know you're always thinking of me, though. Well, of course. You're like a... Daughter, Tim. Um... Like a what? <laughs> N nothing. You're a very good friend. That's all. And once the war is over, I want to be sure you have a pleasant life. I'm pretty sure what I said about Hanuman thinking her as a daughter is a good thing. But like I said, we'll find out more as this one goes on. Is that so? It sounds like you're getting a little ahead of yourself, planning for the end of the war. Ahead of myself? No, I don't think so. Oh? You sounded like you were building up the courage to give me something. Something, um... Small and round and ring-shaped? Uh-huh. <laughs> she read that wrong. A ring, you mean? Well, I... Oh, no. Am I wrong? I'm so embarrassed. I misunderstood. Oh, my. That's what you were thinking. Uh... I've misled you. I see now I phrase things all... Just all wrong. I had no other intentions, I swear. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I could forgive you if you proposed properly. You got me excited, you know. I... but I haven't. <laughs> it's 
okay. I'm just teasing. She's so got him. So teasing? Ah. Well, of course. It's nice just to know you care about me. Maybe we should talk more about the future in the future. How's that sound? Why, it sounds lovely. Quite lovely. <laughs> that one definitely wasn't the greatest support combo conversation. Um, Professor Henneman? Why, hello, Miss Marianne. A visit from you is a rare pleasure indeed. Especially with her crest to the crest scholar. I, um, I wanted your opinion on something. Oh, how intriguing. Whatever is on your mind. I'm beginning to feel that I should accept who I am. Yes, finally. What she needed all along. I thought it might be time to change my training regimen. To utilize my crest. Even if just a little. What a splendid thought. Quite exceptional. And Hanuman is the guy to come through to come up with the workout plan. Uh, may I ask how it is you've reached this conclusion? I admit, I did not imagine my words would do much to sway you. The truth is that I was already considering it before we spoke. All of my allies work relentlessly to achieve their goals, both on and off the battlefield. Seeing this, it occurred to me that I have nothing to work toward. I'm no use to anyone. If I could accept who I am, even a little, I might be able to change that. I was still considering, but after we spoke about it, well... Well, indeed. So it seems my words resonated with you after all. And let's put it this way, Lake Bernadetta, Mary, Marianne is one of the ones who mentally needed the most help. I'm sorry. I know I'm not the best at communicating, but it's true. Your words gave me a lot to think about. They helped me come to this decision. Whatever my crest, it should serve me. That's it. Exactly right, Miss Marianne. And that's not to say I've accepted it completely, but I refuse to continue living in fear of myself. I have every confidence that you will succeed at drawing out your crest's full strength. And that's one thing, you should never live in fear of your own self, because it's yourself. And I intend to help you at every step. If you'll have my help, that is. Of course. Your knowledge is much appreciated. You know, it goes Beth both ways. Haman learns a lot, and he can help others out a lot too. Now, let's see, Shamir, not Catherine, oh, here we go. Did you want something, Professor Hanneman? Ah, Lysithia, thank you for coming. First, I ask that you allow me to apologize. I fear I hurt you with my insensitive words. I have failed you, not as a researcher, but as a human being. You know, that's the one thing too, you have to remember as a researcher, you have to keep your human integrity and compassion or else, well, you can go too far. I'm the one who should apologize. I'm sorry for being rude to you. Anyway, I'll keep going along with your research. I have to be on my way now. Please, Lysithia, a moment more. I did not call you here simply to apologize. I told you once that you were an exquisite subject for my Crest research. Why? Because there are no records of any other person ever having borne two Crests. Because it is not natural unless you can get two of the Crest givers to agree to give it to you. Correct. We cannot say anything for certain about the makeup of your body. Therefore, it seems hasty to conclude that overcoming your shortened lifespan is an impossible feat. What is it you're- Yes! Lysithia, what is my field of study? 
Crestology, of course. Indeed. And the goal of my field is to unravel every single mystery crests might conceal. The other thing is they have a really good healer right there with Manuela. Someday, I even hope to devise a means to bestow a crest upon any who desires one. And that's the big thing, because to bestow, you need to know how to remove. Why would you want to do such a thing? Because I despise this world in which the presence or absence of a crest can determine a person's worth. And this is a big reason why if you do not recruit, recruit Hanuman in part one, he is part of the Empire in part two. Huh. However, if artificially implanting a crest causes too great a toll on the subject, it would be useless. But what if you could make an item that given it to a person gives them the abilities of the crest without actually implanting it and it can be switched to another person whenever they wish. As such, reducing the strain of crests on the human body is one of my research goals. Understanding how to implant a crest might also lead to the knowledge of how to remove them. Yes. And, an, and another thing people need to remember, both characters with white or silver hair, whichever way you want to say it, that have two are the only ones with two crests. Do you think removing a crest could mean that they won't suffer from its effects any longer? Maybe, maybe not, but it could also give the body time to heal from the stress. What I am trying to tell you is the question of whether your lifespan can be restored is entirely within the scope of my research. Do you... could you really do that? It is difficult to say for sure. But as long as the possibility exists, I will continue to seek it. And this is why I've been saying since the beginning. Lysithia has been so worried about lifespan because of the implanted second crest, and yet she refused to talk or listen to Hanuman about it when him and Linhart are the two most knowledgeable knowledge well, the two ones with the most knowledge of crests, which are the one two who can help her the best. Lysithia. Let me ask you once more. Will you assist me in my research? Professor Hanneman, I think I'm the one who should be asking for your help, really. Yes, yeah, she finally realized anyway, it. I'm sick of a crest determining a person's worth, too. Ah, is that right? Perhaps you would even like to begin studying crestology yourself. Hey, I would help her. I think you would make a fantastic apprentice. A life devoted to research is a noble life, you know. If you do manage to restore my lifespan, I'd certainly think about it. I will hold you to those words. Ah, I see a fine future ahead of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're back uh, about 24 minutes now, not including what you guys are all going to miss because I'll cut it out. So next time we'll start with Alois. And move to Dorothea. And after that, uh, should it be Petra? Yes, so Alois, Dorothea, and Petra. We're slowly working our way down, so hopefully it doesn't take too much longer to get rid of these supports. Be nice to get them out of the way. And off screen, I'm just going to quickly do some stuff in the marketplace there. So this is Zach of SimDoBlaze.com, just some do likes to play video games. And remember, we are all legends, and if you've liked these videos and would like to help the channel, Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification button, comment, share, like, visit somedudeplays.com, and remember, we are all legends, so have a great day, everyone.